Hello guys and welcome to the England World Cup career mode. Um, in this episode of course we have France but as you can tell from the tournament tree we lost to Cameroon in the semi-final. Germany beat France so it'll be obviously a Germany Cameroon final. Um, we're going to try and come out on top against France. I'm not too fussed about the third place but Obviously, we always like to get a win, don't we? So, we'll be jumping into the game, trying our best, and let's hope we can get get the win. Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. Okay, England versus France. This tie has been very competitive throughout the years but let's hope this this game is as competitive as past results as I said the Germany Cameroon game well it's not just a game is it the World Cup final hasn't been played yet so we don't know who's won the World Cup we're obviously going for third place against France but I'm not too fussed about the result obviously I'd like to get third but we'll see how it get how it goes don't know if you can tell with the players walking out. We've got a very rotation team. I think Jack Butland and Deli Alley are the only two players not in the starting eleven, as in players that are playing that are usually there. Okay, so the French team: Loris Shadibi, Varane, Umtiti, Digne, Dembele, Matuidi, Kanté. Who else was there? Lamar, Tomo Lamar, Benzema and Lacazette. So a very a very strong I'd say France team. I would probably have Pogba and Griezmann in instead of Benzema and Matuidi, but apart from that, very strong. Maybe obviously uh, Mbappe up front. Obviously our team we've got Butland, Sterling, Cahill, Dyer and Shaw. Oxley Chamberlain, Barkley, Drinkwater, Antonio, Deli Ali and Tammy Abraham up front. Obviously Tammy Abraham has just gone out on loan to Birmingham in the Chelsea save. So let's hope that he can prove me wrong for sending him out on loan. Okay, so Shaw picks it up here down the left hand side into Deli Ali, plays it into Antonio. Tammy Abraham picks it up. Back to Deli at night, Johnny Drinkwater into Barkley. Falls to Abraham who bangs it. Big save from Hugo Lloris there. What a save from the Frenchman. Kanze clears it. Tom Lamar tries to get down the line. Okay, so approach, approaching the 40th minute. Sterling's trying to get down the outside. There's not really been many chances in this first half against France. Probably going to cut out most of the first half anyway. Antonio tries to turn his man. Cut, just gets around Shadibi there. Cuts inside. And just loses out to the Frenchman. It's almost half time and again, like I just said, nothing's actually happened yet. Can we try and push for a goal before half time? Ross Barkley's getting booked here for a challenge that I committed earlier. Antonio's going to throw it into Luke Shaw here who finds Deli Alley. Over to Barkley. Good football from England. Oxley Chamberlain to Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham! It's gone in! Tammy Abraham makes it 1-0 to England just minutes before the half time whistle. What, seconds? 20 seconds before half time? Oh my god! How did that even go in? Let's have a replay of that. <laughs> That's good football from the England players. Ali into Barkley, into Oxley Chamberlain, into Tammy Abraham, who just dinks it and oh my god, Loris. You can do better than that, son. He shoots, it's such a rubbish shot, and his foot. Oh my god! If Loris doesn't lift his foot up, he saves that shot. England take the lead, 1-0. Okay, so we've now gone into the second half. Neither side has made any changes at present. Obviously, France are now chasing the lead, but I, I'm assuming they've got many players on the bench who can come on and grab a goal. I'm guessing Griezmann's on the bench. Maybe uh, Pogba, Martial, Mbappe. Let's hope that no one comes on and scores, shall we? Thomas Lamar passes it down to Kante. Dijon Sterling coming back. Two Chelsea men tackling each other. Danny Drinkwater, a third Chelsea man on the pitch, comes over. Sterling wins the ball. Toxay Chamberlain. 
And goal kick. Barkley picks the ball up here on the halfway line. Deli Alley gets it into Tammy Abraham's feet. Over to Antonio. Can he cut inside and shoot? Cuts inside well. Oh, and tackled by the Frenchman. France are now going to try and break away. Lacazette's got the ball. Into Usman Dembele. Usman Dembele into Karen Benzema. <gasps> oh my god, I thought that was in. I'm going to bring Raheem Sterling on here. France bring on Anthony Martial for Thomas Lamar down the left hand side. It's 1 0 as it is as Sterling comes on now. We have two Sterlings down the right hand side. Still 1 0 England. Right, Jack Butland to hoof the ball up the pitch here. Falls nicely to Martial. Martial into Umtiti, who's pushed up the pitch. Back to. What have we done? Oh my god! What happened there? Is that Gary Cahill heads it to Martial? Martial scores with like what <laughs> his first shot of the game. He's only just come on. What happened? Martial into Umtiti, back to Martial. Oh it does, it hits it hits Cahill on the che or chest it che Cahill chests it down. Martial just bangs it past Tom Butland. France equalise. Okay, so into the last five minutes of the game, Dujon Sterling headed it out here. I'm bringing on Harry Kane and Marcus Rashford instead of Mikel Antonio and... Uh, was it? Oh, and Tammy Abraham, of course. France are going to attack. Um, Titi stayed up front, even though they got the equaliser. Can we hit him on the break here? Deli Alli into Marcus Rashford. Over to Sterling. Into Deli Alli. Over to Rashford again. What can Rashford do with it? Gets no, can't get around his man. Shadibi picks up the ball, goes long. Please don't score a late goal, France. Please don't score a late goal. Please don't score a late goal. Let's get it out with England. Can we get the ball and kick it out? Lacazette into Usman Dembele crosses it. Oh my God, who's in there? Oh my God, Martial. Who who was marking Martial there? France make it two one in the 92nd minute of the game. France are going to get third. Oh my god. Why can't we just get the ball? Usman Dembele drills it across. That's a quality crop. What a goal. Martial just taps it past Jack Butland. 2 1 France. Okay, England have got a minute to save their World Cup campaign. Sterling, can he get around his man? Gets around Digne nicely. Can he get around Rafan Varan? He can't. Oh, and there goes the whistle. <sighs> France win third with the last kick of the game. France win 2-1. England get fourth. I can't really complain with getting fourth considering how England have done recently in uh, international tournaments. So I'm not complaining. Fourth will do. I wasn't expecting to win it, but then again, I wasn't expecting Cameroon to get into the final. Right, we've got a transfer offer and a loan offer for Kennedy here. I'm probably going to accept... No, I'm going to accept the loan deal. Um, but I also have this offer for Mishibat Schwaier for £30 million from Barcelona. I'm going to accept it. Well, I'm going to negotiate, of course. Um, obviously we're meeting with the Barcelona manager here I don't even know who the Barcelona manager is that's probably quite bad um, obviously I want more than 30 million I'm going to ask for 50 they've, asked for, they've offered 34 plus a sell on clause ok I'll offer 46 They've offered 34. Um, I'm going to offer 42. Will they accept 42 million plus a 5% sell on clause? They have! Mishibat Schwaier is probably going to Barcelona. That is a big move. 42 million pound! I guess Chelsea actually. Oh, they bought him for 30, didn't they? So. 10 million profit. <laughs> 
that's not too bad, but we are going to look for a striker in the next window. Well, in the current window. Trevor Chaloba's return from injury. Right, can I find the World Cup stats? Who has won the World Cup? My betting's on Germany, of course, but I'd love to see Cameroon do it. Just finding it. World Cup qualifiers. World Cup. Yeah, yeah. Germany win it 2-0. Of course, they beat France 2-1, they beat Belgium on penalties, and they beat Italy. So, Germany probably had the toughest run, and they won it. So, commiserations to Cameroon. But, Germany are now the reigning champions of the World Cup for two years, two, um, for two tournaments. They have won the World Cup back-to-back, -back, just like Spain did. In 2000, and, oh no, Spain didn't win the World Cup back to back, did they? Cause unless they won it in 2010, they might have won it in 2010 and 2000. And... No, that was it, because Italy won it in 2006 and Germany won it in 2014. Fair enough. Right, let's go have a look, see who finished top goal scorer for the World Cup, and it was oh Brazil. Where's Germany? Germany's sixth with Ozil, and we're fifth with Sterling. Obviously, Rashford and Ali both got three goals. We didn't really score with anyone else. Harry Kane was a little bit um, poor. Vardy and Henderson both got three assists each. Barkley got two assists. Ali and Rashford both got two assists. Oh my God, so we've got a lot of assisters in our team. Just not many goal scorers, apparently. Uh, clean sheets, we got two, which must have been in the group stage because we didn't we conceded a goal in it at least every cup uh, knockout game that we played yellow cards we was we was quite good on yellow and red cards we didn't get any reds there was only four red cards in the entire tournament that was quite good a few deals gone through hmm, nice right i hope you've enjoyed this england campaign um, but for now, there is only one thing to do. And unfortunately, that thing is to resign. So, guys, I've hoped you've enjoyed this this little mini-series, but we are not going to be managing England anymore. Uh, I might try and find another... I might try and find another national team to do the Euros with. I'm quickly just looking at Rashford's stats, because I might just buy him with Chelsea. But yeah, I might... I might try and find another national team to do the Euros with, but I'm not going to manage England anymore. Hope you've enjoyed this little mini-series. Please leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye. Mm.